Hey guys, this is Sims and Wins. Welcome back to my channel and to our Build a City Challenge. Hit the subscribe button below to get more videos. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to sound like a real YouTuber there. Okay, anyway, scratch that guys. Hello again. Um, so we are playing our Build a City Challenge here. And uh, we are playing the next... The next household we're playing is Calypso Roseland's household with her husband, Danny Roseland, and their twin kids, Mira and Parker. So, refresher on who these people are, Calypso is one of the many children of Sandy Fairchild. May she rest in peace. Um, she actually was the actual daughter that Sandy Fairchild had with Luke Simmons a long, long time ago. And if you remember, Sandy had married Luke. They had Calypso. And then Sandy mysteriously got pregnant with, I want to say it was Athena or... No, no. Oh, okay. This is what happened. So um, she was pregnant with Jane with by an affair because she had an affair with Julian Cook and right she got pregnant with Jane and Luke thought that Jane was his daughter right so um he was raising Jane and then she actually got pregnant by Luke with Calypso so they had two kids together and then when she got pregnant with Athena who is not Luke's kid that's John Oakstead's kid she had a third affair a second affair a second affair um that's when luke realized something was up like he that that can't be my kid you know i haven't been home yada 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 i've got my bun on top of my head <laughs> and um so that's when he realized hey what's going on and that's when she confessed actually you know calypso is only your child they got a divorce sandy ended up living the rest of her life with athena and that's where athena is living now in sandy's old house Jane Fairchild's married, had kids, who's old now, and Calypso is about to turn into an elder too, and she ended up marrying Danny Roseland. Now, Danny Roseland is actually a Richardson descendant of the founding family, but he's kind of like the lazy one of the descendants. Like, he's not very rich, not very, you know, ambitious. He's just, you know, a chill guy. So, um, the the founding family had a daughter, one of their three kids was a daughter named Emily Rosalind, who ended up marrying Sid Rosalind, an EA guy that I just put into the game. And they had Danny and his sister Iris, who was married to one of the cooks, which cook, Elliot Cook, which is Julian Cook's son. Anyway, and they had two kids. So um, she's going to turn into an elder in two days, but her children are having birthdays today. So we're going to actually um, throw a birthday party. You know, we're going to show more gameplay from now on. We're going to try to get a little bit more. Sorry. We're actually going to try to get a little bit more gameplay shown um, on camera. And I won't be lazy and skip through all of this. So we're going to invite over her buddies, Melissa Fancy, Melan Melanie Ponte from the... From the orphanage, um, Elliot Cook, um, he is Julian Cook's son. Julian Cook has long since departed. Her half-sister, Jane Fairchild, her sister, her half-sister, Athena Hanna, and her husband, Kai Hanna. And I guess we can also invite her, her half-sister's sister-in-law. <laughs> Oh God, this neighborhood has gotten so complicated. All right, let's put the cakes down. She had bought these from the bakery. She had them in her inventory. Might as well use them. The kids will be back um, from school in an hour. Uh, do I have a stereo? I do not. Let's get some music on. Okay, so this house, this house, hold on, let me pause and explain here. This house, I did not build this. I downloaded it, but it got bombed by my CC deletion so i had to fix it a little bit it's not too fixable because this was supposed to be a really modern house and it's not so modern anymore um but you know i made it, it usable because i didn't feel like building another house because i've been building a lot of houses lately if you see a lot of my uploads have been speed builds lately um upstairs is meh meh okay i was a little lazy downstairs is looking a little better okay downstairs you know i made it a little a little homey, a little, a little comfy, you know. Um, let's turn on the stereo. Let's get people coming over. Let's switch it to some college rock. You know, I used to jam to this stuff when I was like in middle school playing this game. I used to jam to like the college rock channel. Um, I, I think I even knew one of the songs. They had like 
I want to say it was a flyleaf song. I, at least I think it was a flyleaf song. It sounded like a flyleaf song in one of their channels here, like a simified flyleaf song. And I had learned the song in Simlish. Like I would sing it in Simlish when I was like 12. Um, okay, so uh, her guests are here. We're just waiting for the kids to come home. Okay, everyone can come in. Let's call over her sisters. I think she should have good relationships with her sisters for the most part. Um, okay, she's got an okay relationship with one of her sisters. What about Jane Fairchild? What's her relationship with Jane? Uh, not so good. Oh, wait, no, that's not Jane. Where's Jane? Does she have, like, no relationship with Jane? Hmm? Let's go talk to her and see, like, if she comes up first, because I can't find her. Um, am I blind? I am wearing my glasses. That's Sabrina Carter. That's not Jane. Oh, there she is. Okay, she's friendly with Jane. All right, so we've got a bunch of people over. Let's go say hello to your other sister. Family kiss. Okay, kids are coming home from school soon. Let's get them to blow out these candles super fast. Um, yep, kids are coming home. Alrighty, her husband's at work, but the kids are just going to blow. Should we wait for him? What time does he come home? No, we're not waiting for him. Okay. Um, let's get her to put down her homework. Oh, she brought a friend home. Rosalie Brown, one of the Brown kids. From the Walisa Brown family, one of the ten kids. I feel really weird when I call them one of the brown kids. You know, it sounds a little racist. But no, their last name is actually Brown, okay? <laughs> yes, their last name is Brown. Okay, I'm not calling them Brown. Um, let's see here. He is going to be putting his homework away. Um, okay, let's get them to blow out their candles. All right. Not bad party. Let's blow out the candles. Let's get this done. Let's get a screenshot. Actually, I can't screenshot when I'm recording because then I can't use it as a thumbnail because my big fat face is here. Um, okay, every wow, it's a big party. It's a pretty big party. Let's get these kids. Okay, blow out your candles, I guess. I guess we can put the walls up to get a real good feel for the house. Um, okay, people, let's get through this. Come on. Hopefully my game doesn't die. All right, grow up, people. Let's see what she looks like. She, ooh, okay. Interesting features. She's got a long face, but she's pretty. Um, he, ooh, we need to fix his eyebrows. I don't know why he doesn't have eyebrows. Uh, I don't have my phone near me to randomize this. Okay, let's just give her family, because actually, well, maybe we can make her want to be rich. She likes red hair. There's no guys with red hair in this neighborhood, my dude. There's not a single guy with, with red hair in this neighborhood, I'm pretty sure. Actually, like, maybe there's one. Anyway, okay, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, this kid needs to get his face fixed, though. Um, I guess he could be a family aspiration. Oh God, wait, I didn't pay attention to what his likes and dislikes were. I should have fixed that. Let's drink the Renew You Porto Chug thing because I don't want him to be into full face makeup. Um, let's get into makeup and good cooking. Okay, um, we we don't want to be turned off by charisma skill, my dude. Um. Do I have a mirror? Let's change your appearance. Let's get let's give you some eyebrows here, buddy. Um Give it a second. Give it a moment, please. You know, you know, this is an old game, okay? I was playing this when I was like ten. Alright. Um Okay, so he doesn't have eyebrows for whatever reason. Oh, no, that's too fierce. That's way too fierce. Way too fierce. Um, I could go for something a little bushier, honestly. Um, no. Oh, these are the EA ones. Okay, I think that works. That works fine. He's not so bad, actually. He's got a nice look. It just He just needs eyebrows. Okay, he's fixed. There we go. Um, problem solved. Let me see if I can fix her now. Um, do you have a mirror somewhere else? Yes, you do. Let's see if I can give you a little bit of makeup. Stop eating cake, okay? You're not hungry. Um, see, I need someone to like stop me when I'm doing that, but alas, I have no one to stop me. This hairstyle, so many Sims use it. I need to get some hairs. That's what I really need. I'm like out of hairs. Every Sim has to use all the hair. And I don't really like to have too many repeat hairs in the neighborhood. Like I try to give people different hairs, but you know, 
it just doesn't always work out. You know, I don't have that many to begin with. What was she using before? I liked what she had before. Yeah, this one I think works for her. I wouldn't say this one. She's got too long of a face. I think the short hair works for her. Yeah, this works for her. Um, Some makeup would do her some good here. Oh, okay. Pretty, pretty. Yep, she's fine. She's fine. All right, great. Um, Yeah, that's it. So that's their birthday party. It's a good time. Um, I don't think she really needs to, like, make friends with people here. Um, she's, for the most part, friends with everyone except Iris Cook. Their family. Iris Cook is her, like, what is Iris Cook again? Like, one of her, what does Iris Cook have to do with her again? Iris Cook is her... <sighs> what? Wait. wait, wait a minute. How is Iris Cook related to her? Why are they family? Oh, 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 that's her, that's her bro, that's her husband's sister. That's her sister-in-law. Right, that's her sister-in-law. Okay, okay, I got confused for a second. Okay, that's her sister-in-law. Let's say hello to your sister-in-law. Be friends, okay? I can see you guys. Okay, you guys are best friends now. All right. That's basically it. Um, her husband's home. Okay, come home. Your kids are teenagers. That's it. So, um, what's going to happen in this household? Basically nothing for the rest of the same week. He's going to keep getting old and useless. She's going to turn into an elder. Nothing really. I'm going to try to fix the upstairs. Just a tad. I might wait for the kids to grow up though a little bit. Um, her room can get a do-over too, I'm sure. Uh, that's it. So, I will see you in the next family. So the next household we are playing is the Ward family. So the Ward family was a commenter suggestion. And um, basically this family consists of a widowed father who is named um, Nicholas Ward. And he had a daughter named Nikita Ward. And Nikita is now a teenager. Um, she's beautiful. And he has two friends with whom he's raising this daughter with. So this is Jonathan Ward. Um, he is a he works in the media, and this is Richard Ward. And he just abandoned his career as a judge to follow his dreams and pursue entertainment because that is his lifetime aspiration. So, um. Richard has no one. He's just like an adult. I haven't found anyone for him. He's kind of like extra. Like if I have a female that I can't marry off, he's around. The last female I had wasn't into him though, so he's alone. But um, I'll find someone for him. He's young. He It's not too late for him. So he's just there. Now Jonathan, the other friend, is actually going to get married to Victoria Fancy. Um, as soon as this cycle finishes and I go back to the beginning of the rotation when I get to her household I will move him in and they will live together and get married and yada yada so that is her he she couldn't find anyone and he is the solution to that now he's just a single dad I don't intend on marrying him off unless something creepy happens and so Nikita let's get to Nikita Nikita is actually into the teenager we were just playing um, Parker Roseland the boy twin of the family we were just playing. She's really into him. That's like what, how many lightning strikes? Is that three? Three. Um, she was going to maybe fix up something with Eric Cook, but then Parker Rosalind walked into her life and that was that. There's no going back. So she's about to invite him over for a little kissy, kissy because she wants to kiss someone. So you know how teenagers are. When they want to kiss someone, you got to let them kiss someone, okay? Otherwise they do drugs. <sighs> All right. Um, he should be on his way. I'll stop trying to be funny. Where is he? There he is. Okay. So let's go just get this over with. Let's kiss him. Sure. They already had their first kiss. Um, they're, they've been pretty prolific, I must say. Um, making out with each other all day long. Um, 
she wants to flirt, let's let her flirt with him a little bit. So yeah, they make a nice couple. Um, they're around the same age too, so there won't be a huge age gap. They'll go to college together, they'll be able to room together, like, it's really convenient for them to get together. Um, so that's fine. We have a pair that's already set up from teenage years. I prefer when I set it up from the teenage years, if I can find compatibility in the teenagers, that makes my life easier when they're all living separately in adu as adults. Because if I set it up while they're teenagers, when they're meeting each other in school randomly, and then they go to college, and then I can, you know, finalize it. But once they're adults, and they're all living in separate houses, and there's no way to, for them to meet each other, then it gets a little tricky. Um, but yeah, so, uh, okay, she fulfilled her wants, that's all she wanted, to just do a little kissy-kissy, okay, let's send him home, <laughs> that's all she wanted, let's send him home, um, okay, so this house, this house, let's talk about this house for a moment, no, I don't think I built this house, No, I did not build this house. I downloaded this house, but what happened was this house also got destroyed by my custom content deletion. So what ended up happening is I had to redo the exterior a little bit and the interior completely. So this is the new um, ward house. Um, bedrooms, it's pretty spacious. I like this house a lot. Um, yeah, that's basically it. They're just trying to um, kind of speed through their careers a little bit, trying to get a little more money so that they can send her to college at some point. Um, is there anything else? That's basically it. Um, it's just a little bit um, of a hustle trying to get them to all... Maybe we can talk to Dahlia. Maybe when she grows up, she'll be into you, you know? <laughs> you know? Maybe your soulmate just hadn't been born yet when you were at the top of your adult... <laughs> uh, your adult... Um, what am I trying to say here? It's late at night. Just forget. Just, just ignore me. Um, what else has been going on? Who's Who needs to go to work? Oh, he needs to go to work. Get off the phone. You gotta go to work. You gotta go to work, my dude. Um, okay, he should be getting a promotion anyway. <sighs> That's it. When she's bored, I just have her work on her cooking. So she could be a nice, tidy, prolific wife. <laughs> um, he's working on what his mechanical skill right and what are you working on your creativity um yeah that's basically it. just skilling up working on careers trying to finish furnishing this house this bathroom isn't done back here in the hall i could spruce up the hall a little bit i could do that now on camera actually um um let's use this thing that i used here yeah that's kind of cute um let's get like a coffee table of some sort here, like just a little decoration, just a little decoration. Um, I always use the same things again and again. I have like I like stick with like my favorite things, and I just use them until I never want to see them again. Okay, I'm too lazy to really like really make a bathroom right now, so just bear with me. We're just gonna, you know, like I have to really be in a mood to build building I don't it doesn't like come naturally to me um like some people are really good builders like some people just have like a talent I don't have a talent like I need to get inspired I need to see something online um that I like and like want to recreate it or I'll see if it's something in real life like a lot of a lot of the things that I build I've seen in real life um Oh, the garage wall should be a little bit different. There we go. Um, that's it, right? There's nothing really else to furnish. That's that. Uh, a lot of the things I build I've seen in real life, and I try my best. Sims 2 is a little bit limiting. Um, I'm sure I could do much better. I could make much better builds in Sims 4, but Sims 4, I don't know. There's just something about it. Like, I have most of the expansion packs. I think I stopped buying expansion packs after... Mm, the snow one came out. I didn't buy that one, and I didn't buy the crafting one, and I don't know what came out after that. I haven't been even keeping up with Sims 4. I've been really busy. And, like, I just keep getting drawn to Sims 2. Like, I just wish... I wish that Sims 4 had the same gameplay as Sims 2, except in Sims 4. Because I hate that you can't do this rotational cycle of playing in Sims 4. Because, you know, when you stop playing one house in Sims 4... 
like technically they're still progressing like you can set it for the age to stop but if a sim is pregnant this pregnancy will continue the name they'll pick a name out of nowhere you know like it's just not it's not what i want it to be it's not and like that rotational style of gameplay is important to me i've always played rotations like even when i was 12 you know like like my sisters when they were playing sims my sisters oh, my sisters were just not fans my sisters would like mother load everything like build themselves this giant ugly ass house i don't want to curse on my channel um they would just mother load themselves into this huge house with like all the expensive furniture but not matching it at all so just this ugly ugly house and they would just give themselves a bunch of kids give themselves money play a little bit and then get bored when I was playing Sims 2, when I was like 12, I had Pleasant View. I was playing Pleasant View in rotational cycle, in a rotational style gameplay, kind of like the way I'm doing the Build City Challenge. And I had played it for generations, for generations. And I had these notebooks of like um, family trees and um, like who, which Sim did what, which Sim was in which career. Like I was like a Sims player from small, okay? And like I really appreciate that about Sims 2 and you it's not the same, not in Sims 3 and not in Sims 4. So when they make Sims 5, maybe I'll buy Sims 5 if if they can give me back this satisfying rotational gameplay. And there ends my rant, everybody. I will see you in the next household. All right, so the next family we are playing is Athena and Kai Hanna. So the Hannas were a family that was suggested to me by a commenter. So they started off with Camille and Kai Hanna, and they are brother and sister with like business ambition. If I remember correctly, they really wanted to be good business people and make a lot of money and stuff like that. So they used to live together. And then Camille ended up marrying Jaden Brown. As you know, we played through this household before in a, the previous episode, maybe. Um, and Kai Hanna ended up marrying Athena Hanna. And Athena Hanna is one of the children that Sandy Fairchild had through an affair with John Oakstead. Sandy Fairchild had many children. She's got lots of half kit, half siblings. So anyway, she married Kai Hanna and they had a kid named Cora. Now, Cora, I don't know what I was thinking. Did someone suggest this to me? Is this like a boy name? Because this is a boy. And like, it was a toddler when I came into the house and it grew into a kid. And I was like, why? Why did I name the boy Cora? Cora is like a really girly name. Why did I name the boy Cora? Is there like a culture somewhere that where Cora is a guy name? Anyway, so the boy's name is Cora and the girl's name is Nefeli. Um, okay, Nefeli is a Greek name. In English, it sounds really ugly, but Nefeli is actually a beautiful name in Greek. So anyway, so... um. That's her name, and she is about to give birth to her third child. I wanted them to have a third kid before she got too old. You know, she's a little old, and Nefeli is actually going to grow up in a bit. Maybe I'll just rush it just a little bit. Maybe I'll just grow her up because she's about to have another baby anyway. I don't want any more babies. So, um, let's see. Maybe it'll be twins. I'm hoping. Oh, this is a house I built in a recent speed build. Um... Let's see, maybe it'll be twins. I'm hoping it's twins. Okay, it's one. Let's see what it is. Girl or boy. No one gave me baby names last episode. Give me those baby names, people. Um, it's a boy. Okay, so we have another boy. Um, God, I don't know what to name boys. What am I gonna name this kid? Mm. Er, I can name him. So anyway, before my husband interrupted me, I was thinking of a boy name. I suppose I could name him a Greek name. I can name him Ares. It's a little presumptive, but that's okay. We can name him Ares. That's fine. Um, That's that. So they've got a baby boy now. Nefeli turned into a beautiful little girl with nice brown hair. Gorgeous. Okay, they look just like their dad. <laughs> <laughs> they got nothing from their mom. All right, uh, that sounds about right. Um, so this is a house I built. I was, I'm was i not throwing another birthday party, okay? Uh, she was pregnant. This house was miserable. You know how Sims 2 pre pregnancies are? 
they're miserable. Okay, so they have three kids, they're finished. I'm going to eventually transform this into a girl room and this will be the boy room. I suppose, I suppose the boy can go live with his brother. Actually, no, maybe we should keep the baby separate so he doesn't wake anyone up. So, um, Nefeli and Cora, Cora, Cora <laughs> can share a room for now, I suppose. And the baby room will be here and it's clean. Um, I'll just hire a maid. This is ridiculous. Oh, she ended up getting like a really good random chance card at her job and ended up with 50,000. So I'll probably build them a vacation house to buy because I count the vacation houses as community lots. So that adds up the population a bit. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll do eventually. And, uh, that's it for this family. So let's go to the last family on our list before we go to the college kids. And that is Reagan Sanderson, the neighborhood witch. Hey guys, so we are playing our last family. I'm looking a little crazy, no makeup today. Um, don't mind me. So we are playing Reagan Sanderson, the evil witch. She's always the last family that we play. Um, this, I built it for her relatively recently in the series, but that episode was probably years ago. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not years. Maybe it was like a year ago. It was definitely months ago. But yes, uh, this is uh, one of my more tragic builds. Um, it didn't do too good of a job on this. Ugh. Okay, well, that's okay. You know, we improve over time, people. We improve over time. That's okay. We'll leave it as it is. It's like three stories for no reason. Because I'm never going to use all the space. Um, so she's a witch. She's evil. She kills people for fun and to steal their money. And the government doesn't do anything about it because she gives the money to the government to put community lots. Okay, so um, she has taken prisoner uh, Trista Bendit. Bendit, the infallibly good witch who should be dying anytime soon. Okay, she's, she's talking on the phone with her next victim, Marsha Brunegg. We played her. When did we play her? Uh, maybe two episodes ago. Two episodes ago, we played her. She's old. She's chilling with that divorced guy in that house. She's useless. She's going to die anyway. We might as well kill her. It's okay. Um, But she doesn't have much in her inventory. We need to go after an NPC, actually. Jessica, we're still working on her relationship. We can do Benjamin Long. Yeah, hang up. Let's let's go for Benjamin Long here. Um, let's see if we can... Where is he? There he is. Let's see if we can... Oh, he's never home. Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, let's... Where are you going? Oh, she's cleaning. All right, let's go to the bathroom. I guess you can... You don't even have to cook, right? Can't she, like, make food? Isn't that, like, what she can do? She can, like, create some nutriments. Isn't that, like, making food, right? Like, she can do that, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Yep, she makes food. See? She doesn't even have to cook. This is the life. Oh, she made berry pie. Okay. Eat your berry pie. That's fine. I'm just waiting for that other lady to die now. Um, So, I introduced her. I will come back to you guys, I guess, when she dies. And when we can finally get Benjamin Long to pick up the freaking phone. Alright, so we finally got Benjamin over here. We're going to start flirting because she also has this aspiration to doof people. So if she wants to do pe doof people, you know, that's her prerogative. Um, She can doof people before she kills them. It's fine. Let's do some kissy-wissy. Let's do some smooching. Let's do some... Mm, whatever. Uh-oh. Who saw her? Wait a minute. Who's what? Kome. But he's dead. <laughs> she got caught cheating by the ghost. <laughs> Is that what just happened? What? What? Oh god, well he just pissed himself. <laughs> I did not know. No, wait, don't say goodbye. Come back, come back. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's gone. Okay, we'll invite him over tomorrow. Is he mad at us? Maybe he's mad. I think maybe he realized 
What's happening? God, I didn't know that ghosts could like catch you cheating. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, all right. I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's a first. He he pissed himself because like the ghost of the the ex that she used to do f found them kissing. Like if I saw the ghost, if I saw the ghost of the guy I was with ex who didn't know that we were cheating yeah that would bug me too this ghost is not a ghost that moves on this ghost would not want to for you to move on with your life and get remarried and stuff like that no no way Jose all right I'm waiting for this chick to die can you die already oh, okay. cannot take any longer uh, we used to do this with fire before we got her this big ass before we got her this big house with um, the dungeons, she used to just put set them on fire. But you know, I don't want to like miss the moment she dies, cause you know, I want her to die, and then I need to kill Benjamin, and then I'm basically done with this in a week. So, cause she lives forever, basically. I just end up, what I end up doing is I always just buy her, her um, youth again potion. I think she might even still have something. She lives forever. She's immortal. Okay, this witch doesn't die. Oh, she, maybe she drank it all. But I'm going to buy it for her again. So she never dies. So the sim week doesn't really matter with her. Like, I just kill someone. Take their money. She doesn't count because I already, I already took her money. And then her sim week's basically done. So it doesn't even matter. This video's getting long. Okay, people? This video's getting long. I need the, for this to work out, people. Who are we going to Who are we gonna kill? Where are we killing today? Well, let's see if we can get Benjamin to come back. Can you come back? Alright, he's coming back. Good, good, good. Okay. The ghosts are gone. It's 8 in the morning. Okay, there should not be any ghosts. I wonder if he noticed that that was like her ex. Like, did he get mad? Like, I don't know. Like, if her relationship with him is a little messed up. Should it be the kissing, right? Um... <laughs> Right? Let's see if we can fix this a little bit. Um, all the romantic contraction. No, I don't think he realized like what happened. I mean, why would he? Right? Why would he? Why would Benjamin get mad? Because the ghost is dead. Like, right? She, she's not gonna say loyal to a ghost. So that makes sense. Um. Okay. All right. We're kissing. We're being bad girls. Okay. All I need to do is make this doof happen. Move him in. Alright, okay, now I think we can move him in now. And then we just need to, for him to fall in love. There we go, now he's in love. So now he's gonna move in. And then they're gonna go doof. That's what's gonna happen. Okay, so you're gonna go doof. Oh, he's not in love yet. Okay, well he's gonna have to just kiss her on the bed or something a couple times. Um... Let me see. Oh, he moved in with money, too. That's good. Let me see. First is inventory. This is... I love this part. This is my favorite part. Delete. Oh, you can't delete food. Okay. Delete. 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 These are all the things that they bought. Oh, you have not... You were... This was not a big catch. I have had bigger catches where I've made like 200,000 simoleons. He did not buy that much from community. Lots of guests. Ah, shame. Only 50,000. All right. All right. All right. That's okay. We'll woohoo you anyway. Okay, you woohooed him. You happy? You happy. Okay. Now it's time to put him in the dungeon. Okay, time for you to go in your dungeon. <laughs> Benjamin, sorry. No, no, no. Go back in the dungeon. And then I need to lock it. Oh, these doors do not work for this. Lock for all sims. And that's that. Now you can't come out. Okay, you're stuck in there now. Sorry. And that's it, guys. That was, the end. That was my mission with her so basically what I do is I'm pretty sure I can remove I think maybe she bought these or did I well she's the only Sanderson so I can remove funds from her so I don't know why I have these in her inventory like I'm pretty sure I remove funds with her all the time she must have bought those somewhere um yep she doofed her other sim how many sims we haven't even done 10 yet Ugh, it's gonna take forever anyway she lives forever so we'll have time I want you to die on camera. Can you wake up and die? Maybe that's why. Like maybe she's to wake up and die. 
talking. Oh, there she goes. She needed to wake up. Sleeping was just preventing the Grim Reaper from coming. So she's dying. <laughs> okay, she's dead. Bye-bye. Well, Deuces. Okay, Benjamin, you're next. We add her grave to our collection of graves here. Oh, what is that doing there? That does not belong there. Our collection of graves, and that's that. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this cycle. Now, the cycle is very long. This is, what am I talking about? That is the end of this episode. So to end the cycle, I have to play the college kids now in the next episode. And maybe I'll spend the whole episode there and show more gameplay. And after that, we'll do a population count and then start again from the beginning. So uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a great day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care and bye bye.